Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here is the question. In order to measure the internal resistance R1 of a cell of EMF E, a meter bridge of wire resistance R0 equal to 50 ohm. A resistance R0 by 2, another cell of EMF E by 2, its internal resistance is small r and a galvanometer g are used in a circuit. According to the figure, if the null point is found at L equal to 72 centimeter, then the value of R1 is. And this question is asked advance 2021. To solve this question, we have using two concepts, meter beach and second Kirchhoff law. Here we have given the net resistance of this wire, meter beach wire is 50 ohm. Okay. By using unitary method, we can get the resistance of this portion and this portion. Because we know that 100 centimeter resistance is given 50 ohm. Then for 1 centimeter is equal to 50 by 100. Generally, we have using unitary method. And for 72, here L is given 72 centimeter. Then for 72 centimeter, how much resistance? 50 to 100. This is 36. So here 36 ohm resistance we have find out. So remaining total 50, then minus 50 minus 36. The remaining resistance is 14 ohm resistance is used here. So leveling of this wire given the name, this end is A and last end is B. Okay. And this portion consider P. So here PB is 14 ohm and A to P is 36 ohm. Okay. Now to solve this question, we have using Kirchhoff's circuiter flow circuiter law. Generally, it is denoted by CCL. You can take either, either circuit L, M, A, P, L, or you can take M, A, B, N, M means whole circle okay or you can take this close mesh also any method you can use okay i am taking for our convenient a b and m okay so now by using kirchhoff's ccl law okay close circuit law what is the path path we have taken N, L, M, A, B, and again N. So it is the path, close path. N, L, M, A, B, and again N. So here, the product of resistance and current, product of resistance current and its summation is equal to EMF, which is present in this closed path. So here, from starting from here, R0 by 2. Here R0 is given 50 and it's a half means 25. Then 25 I. Okay. Now go further here R1 plus R1 and I. Now again here a total, total. We have to take a total because we have taken the, this closed circuital law. Okay. So AB we have to take in the path AB. So what is the resistance then? 50. 50 I equal to E. Then 50 and 25 means 75 I. 
I R1 equal to E, then I get common 75 plus R1 bracket close E. It is the first equation. Now, second loop here, second loop N L P B and N. Okay, so here the resistance r not by 2 means 25 i remember here no any current will flow in this lp so now 0 into resistance then we get 0 and so only remaining point pv what is the resistance 14 multiply by 14 current is i and emf is present what is the emf is present in this close mesh e by 2 e by 2 how much now total? Then I can be written as E by 78. Now substitute this value in equation here. <coughs> okay. Here, what is the value of I? E by 78. 75 plus R1 bracket close equal to E, E, E cancel out. Now 75 plus R1 equal to 78, one's are 78, then R1 equal to 78 minus 75, then R1 equal to 3 ohm. Okay, so therefore this correct answer is 3 ohm. Thank you for staying till the end of this video and yes, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.